Hey y'all, hey. Oh no. Sometimes lighting is like super perfect and then other times it's no. Actually, this is good. All right. Hello. How are you? So it's me. I'm back. It's been a long, long time since I've done one of these videos of me in my sewing room, but I'm actually not gonna stay in here. I only got like 10 maybe 15 minutes but i always said that i would showcase um building the business of alterations i'm sorry that the lighting is like super big is it gonna get better no it's not and i don't feel like pulling out that camera even though it's right there give me 2.5 seconds i don't think i can look at my sewing machine y'all Industrial Juki sewing machine. How do you like it? Is it pretty? It's so, so pretty. My Juki sewing machine. Ain't it gorgeous? I love it. I've actually had it for quite some time, to be honest. Being busy at work, I don't always get to use it. Okay. If anybody knows anything about sewing rooms, they are usually one of the most, um, how do you put it, um, crazy rooms ever? I don't know the last time I physically showed my whole entire sewing room, but I'm not showing it today because it's just too much work to do. I don't have the time or the patience. But I'm doing it. Okay, give me 2.5 more seconds. I'll be ready, ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. And that be our problem. We don't be ready. Why is no one ready? And how does this thing turn on? Okay, there we go. Good, 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 good. All right, so as I was doing a few seconds ago, okay, so I got the light on because I know I need it, even though I know I don't want it on. And I'm running out of more time. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of all the time. Which means I'm going to be late. Well, no, actually, I'm not going to be late to my client. I'm, I if I allow for time. I allow for stuff like this to happen to take place so that I can get where I have to go. Okay, that light is so bright. I don't like it. because It's giving me a shadow on my face. I don't know. Ah! Okay, so alteration business, traveling seamstress. Um, my best advice, I've been doing it for years, years, years. Years. I could tell you the first. Okay, so let's see. I first started doing alterations um, back when I was in high school. I would do the um, the ladies in the office because my school. My long story short, that I don't have time for. But my art teacher started a fashion um, course because she actually that's where she came from. She came from the fashion industry and she just wanted to, you know, help the youth to regain what they didn't have in schools anymore. And so on was the, one of the things, although I had started learning how to sew from my mom and my aunt. Um, it wasn't a, a new thing for me like it was for some people. But that's besides the point. So um, that was my first experience with, you know, doing alterations, you know, going to school. I would do the ladies in the office. It wasn't a part of the class program, but, you know, it was just something that one of the ladies in the office in the back asking me. Um, I then um, I did. Uh, let me see. Where else did I start traveling? Uh, one day, um, you know, you go and you 
get jobs, blah, 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 right? So I was looking at my sewing machine and I was like, I can sew. Why am I focused on just sewing, you know, when somebody, you know, asked me to make a garment? So I said I was going to start offering alterations, um, you know, uh, on the go or whatever. And one of my first clients, um, I don't even know how this lady got my card, found out about me, but I was sent to her and I did alterations for her garment. We did them in her driveway. My first, I kid you not, my first like legit uh, person calling me, I need the alterations on the go services. We did it in her driveway. It was a nice spring day. It wasn't raining or nothing. And she was just like, I just want to do my alterations in the driveway. I said, okay, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to knock it. Hey, it's your garment. <laughs> it was the most unique, but you got to start anyway, right? That's the whole goal. You start anyway. You don't be, um, don't try to make it perfect, perfect. Just start. However you start, let it be. I'm sorry, I'm moving this because I just kind of want a better um, view for myself. I don't like the view that I have. I want something different. I apologize. Forgive me. I have so much um, fabric that I am looking at right now. I'm, I'm, oh God, it's just, it's insane the amount of stuff that needs to be done right now. Um, I, I gotta go. God, I'm, I'm okay. I got a few more minutes to do this. Okay, traveling alterations. What was I talking about? Oh, we did hers in the driveway. Another lady I drew up, this is where I made my mistake at. I didn't have a really good fee system. Because you need to know the, your radius of how far you're willing to travel. So from wherever your travel, um, your home base is, whether it be your house or if you have an actual uh, office space, you know, storefront brick and mortar that you're running out of, whatever it is that you're going to do, know your radius distance. So that lady that I did doing in her driveway, she probably lived maybe 15, 20 minutes from me. Easy. That wasn't hard. Another lady lived dang near an hour uh, so initially my fee for traveling was $25 and that would cover for the at the time I had a little tiny car I had a little tiny Toyota Corolla 99 that was my little my little boo thing it got me everywhere I had to go be careful when you let people borrow your car because they don't treat the way you would treat it okay I like that for my grandma but I didn't listen whatever um <laughs> no shade to who is might watch this when I said that I love you um but traveling to that lady's house an hour away plus traveling back to sew everything then having to drive back to her house and then you know when I when it was all said and done I had a great experience and I learned because you always are learning from whatever it is that you're doing anyways and I learned that I ain't charging up. I needed to know, like, you know, I need to have an additional uh, an additional fee for all of what I was doing. I'm playing with the light because I don't like what it's doing over here. <laughs> it just seems so bright. I know it's probably my camera lens or whatever, but I'm not worried about it. Um, hurry up, Wazzy. Take it tomorrow. <laughs> I am talking to myself in third person. Trust me, a lot of places do that. Um, gosh. Um, so the alteration part isn't as hard until people want to get all technical and then they're trying to do it in a time crunch. And you got you got to think about all those things. I also did a travel uh, so, uh, custom-made garment as well. Um, now, that lady understood. She also was getting my services in... I believe it wasn't even, was it a full week or was it like 10 days? I think it was something like that. It was either 10 days or it was a full week. I don't actually recall. Okay, I like the light right there. Okay, whatever, who cares? You got very few minutes to go. Maybe that's why. Yeah, there we go. Okay, whatever. Um, That lady paid a nice chunk of money for her custom garment in less than 10 days all of that she 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 did good she was she was i would at the time i was younger and she made it like she it for me then was still starting out with all doing it you know it was like oh she gave me a really big tip but that was what it should have been charged from the beginning and she really helped me out with that um nowadays when i do 
travel jobs. Um, just giving you a little quick short backstory of it. Um, I simply um, there are jobs I take and there are jobs I don't take. Some stuff I just don't take no more. <laughs> I will turn stuff down because I know I don't have the, I've, I've, I've been there, done it, and I'm not going to do it again. That's where I'm at. And I hate to sound like that, but it's just the truth of what it is. There are stuff that you've done and you're like, I'm not doing that anymore. And then, um, like in the, in, in the description bar, I think I put down there that, you know, I take, um, who would I take recommendations? I don't, I, I recommend you have a flyer card. I actually recommend that you have no overhead yourself because for what I do for myself is I work out of a dry cleaners so that I don't have overhead. The only overhead I have is my car driving it to them and back. That's it. And I, I like that only because I just like it. <laughs> I've been doing it this way for the last four years now where I don't actually sew on this jukey <laughs> behind me that y'all was looking at for like a whole two minutes. Um, I enjoy traveling to people to see what they need, providing them what it is that they have need of. and. You know, getting it back to them, you know, I'll go sew it at the dry cleaners and then I will go deliver it back to them. You got to charge the right fees that you need to charge, of course. And I forgot, you got to have a bag. So recently, let's see, I've done quite a few custom garments for people. I give them entire in their home, uh, the comfort of being in their own home to get the alterations done, to get the custom garment made, blah, 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 blah. That's what I do. Um, I did a girl who just went to Aruba. That was so much fun. Okay. So this girl had this fabric. She said, I already got my fabric. I just need to make a dress. So we got together. I'm, I'm cutting out the pattern for her. We literally did it in like a day and she paid a good fee for it. So trust me, it's a lucrative business when you're doing alterations. Um, she was, she did come via, um, recommendation. You know, I like recommendations because then I know somebody who knows you outside of it just being entirely random people, which is nothing wrong with that, but you do have to have a system if you're going to do it that way. Ooh, I'm running out of time. Um, <laughs> You have to have a system for how you operate. Um, always have someone who's going to know your whereabouts just for safety purposes. You know what I mean? You want that. You don't want to just be willy nilly in it. You want somebody to know, hey, I'm about to go to a stranger's house, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. You know what? I think I got a really good idea that would be beneficial. I got to figure out how to make that. Anybody know any software app developers out there? Holla at your girl. Holla at your girl. If you are a software engineer app developer out there, I need your help. And I will pay you. I got an idea. Let me know. Okay? Let me know. All right. So um, back to the, the real the realness. Okay. All right, so I have my bag, right? This is my alteration bag. And inside my alteration bag, I have my tape measure. You need a tape measure. You can go to Joann's, Michael's, um, your local uh, craft store, whatever, and get that, okay? It's not hard to get that. Not at all. And, whew, I got one minute. Um, what is this? Yeah, these are straight pins. They are in a... Um, I don't know what this is. Somebody once told me that this was not a regular uh, pin collector, but I don't know. It's magnetic, but it works for me. Okay, I got my thimble in there too. And you will want to make sure you have some type of marker, of not a marker, some chalk or wax. And of course, you want to have either some... I take stuff out my my bag sometimes when I'm sewing. 
at home if I need to sell something for myself personally, you know. Scissors or snips or some small scissors. I recommend the small scissors because sometimes the big scissors, you'll snip and the next thing you know, you don't cut too much. So some small ones. Uh, chances of you needing your seam ripper are, you know, limited, but you may, you may not. I don't know, you know. Take it for precaution. You can do something else, and that is to take some thread with you. Hopefully, it's not a black dress that this lady need me to fix, because you can still find black thread. But, you know, I could do white. I didn't ask her what color her dress was. Okay, I think that's everything that I need, because I need to go. Oh, you know what I want to recommend? This is not a plug, but Aldi's has these little kit things. Oh, my gosh. Aldi's, do not sleep on Aldi's. Aldi's got a little bit of everything in there. Everything. A little bit of everything. Things you didn't even know you needed. You'd be like, oh, wow. Thank you for helping me. Okay. Um, running out of time. Got to go. You could even use, um, if you don't want to use straight pants, because the one thing I noticed one time was that you could, you are at risk of leaving a straight pin behind. So you could always take safety pins. Get you some good safety pins. I don't like the ones that come from those dollar places just because they're usually not a good quality. So find you some good quality um, safety pins to use over straight pins just because. Did I put my snips in the bag? I don't know if I mentioned about snips, but some snips are good to have too. And learn your fees and all that good stuff. Um, I did put down in the bottom that I should make this a class. <laughs> I know I need to. I just, I actually have shiggity recorded that I just never posted and I'm over a minute and 43 seconds. Okay, I gotta go. I love you. I hope this helps you understand about being a trap. <laughs> it did not, did it? It's not detailed enough at all whatsoever. It was more of me just telling you my story. Okay, so I got my bag, right? I got my alteration bag. Everything that I'm going to take with me to go to the lady's house. I'm going to be at her house for, I try to make sure that I can do alterations in 15 minutes. You never want to stay your welcome too long. I don't eat any food when I go to the people's houses. I have my own bottle of water just in case I need it, which is in my car. Um, only water. Never take anything of color because you don't want to accidentally spill it. And then, ew, could you imagine spilling it on their garment yet alone something got some pretty nice white carpet uh-uh they'll offer me food and i will politely decline the food um they might offer me something to drink and i'll say oh no thank you i'm okay it is nice that they're offering that means they probably like you but don't eat it don't drink it uh-uh don't do it just because you are there to provide a service and get out the door you don't need to be in their house over 30 minutes if it's not a wedding gown there is no reason for you to still be in their house gosh watch hurry up um what else allocate your time that is gonna you know get you there and to travel back how long is it gonna take you to do the garment itself um there was one particular time where because it was for um this lady she had a modeling gig and or or a photo shoot like i think the same day or the next day we had pre-arranged for me to sew the garment at her house so because i sewed it at her house um even though i was still providing the service for her i in my head, I gave her a discount. Not in my head like that, like I didn't actually do it. Like I didn't tell her I was giving her a discount because for me, I felt like since I'm using her electricity to sew this, that I should deduct a little bit amount. I only deducted like by maybe 10 or 15, $20, nothing over that. Cause I ended up doing, I did a hem for a pair of pants. I did some alterations to a jacket. And I think I did some alterations to a gown. So all in all, I still walked away with a nice amount of money. It's just, you know what I'm saying? Um, you got to figure out what, what works because I do charge by the layer for gowns because someone might want you to take a gown that looks simple, but then this gown is all flowy and it really, ha even if it's an A-line dress, but it's got like three layers of fabric underneath. That means you're sewing that same thing three times. You got to think about all of that stuff. So travel alterations, very lucrative. It works for you. I am behind. I got to go. I love y'all. We got to go because 
by the time I get to her, I don't want to actually be late to her house. <laughs> Thank you. I hope this helps you. And I hope you go out there and you start. Don't wait for it to be perfect to start. Just start. Get out there. Whatever you're doing, whether you're doing alteration business or whatever uh, service that you provide or information you want to share with others, just start. It's all in the starting. Because if you start, you'll figure out other stuff as you go. But you got to start. We all have to start somewhere. But like the good book says, he who waits for perfect conditions will never get anything done. Uh-huh. Yep. It's somewhere in there. Go find it for yourself. It's in there. Uh-huh. Because you'll be like, I think it says something about, you know, the slothful man says that there's a lion in the street, a uh, Roman or something like that. Yeah. We're going to start imperfectly. And it's okay. It's good. It's all right. You'll figure out how to make it better along the way. I love you. I hope great success for you. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic day. Pray for my travels as I travel on the highways and the byways. <laughs> I don't have no accidents, no accidents, no stops, no pullovers, and no tickets. Good God, I almost got a ticket the other day, but it was for a taillight. All right, I love you. Thank you so much. Have a good one. <laughs>